The heroes at Umpqua Community College were not all wearing badges. The family of one student, Chris Mintz, says that he rushed the gunman to try and stop him. The Army veteran is one of the seven people being treated now for their wounds. Maria Villarreal is at Mercy Medical Center in Roseburg. Maria, good morning. Good morning. Initially, all of the shooting victims were brought here to Mercy Medical Center in Roseburg. Now, three of the critical female uh, patients were actually taken up north to a town called Springfield. Chris Mintz didn't run away from the gunfire. According to his family, he tried to protect his classmates. Tries to block the door to keep the gunman from coming in. Gets shot three times, hits the floor. Looks up at the gunman and says, it's my son's birthday today. Gets shot two more times. Min survived the shooting but spent most of the day in surgery. Vital signs are okay. I mean, he's going to have to learn to walk again, but he walked away with his life. And that's more than so many other people did. Student Anastasia Boylan also survived the shooting but is in critical condition after a bullet passed near her spine. Her family told CBS News she has movement in her legs. On Thursday night, students and community members of the small town were still visibly shaken. I heard a couple uh, like loud noises. Our teacher in our whole class had heard them. I didn't hear any gunshots. I heard screaming. I don't know who's all, who all passed away, so I don't know if one of my family members or friends is in there. Grief counseling was set up for the students and staff at the school. There was also a fund set up for the victims of the shooting. Later this morning, we are expected to get an update from the hospital as far as all the patients that are still here recovering. Charlie? Thanks, Maria.